build here. <clears throat> you seem so far away. I don't even hear me. Traffic noise and all that. Nice little area. That's the market I was at yesterday down there. Walking toward the sea, I think. <laughs> I hope. Pretty sure I am. I ended the last video a little abruptly. Well, because I had to chop a bunch off of it because I got all discombobulated. I do that sometimes talking about numbers. But anyway, yeah, I shut it off at uh, 17 minutes. It was only. Uh, I was only about 18 and a half minutes into it, and I just really got stupid. <clears throat> Saying the wrong word and uh, getting confused as to where I was. But anyway, I made my point. Would have been belaboring the point to have included uh, the other two or three minutes, or however long I would have went before I caught myself. <clears throat> about the missing numbers. What do you think? Well, the first part of that video was about uh, what Poland's up to and their history with Ukraine. Looks like they deserve each other, huh? So I filled the limit on the description <laughs> with that guy's comment, uh, Mr. Who was it? Toby? Tobias? Something like that. Oh, you saw it. Stewart, Mr. Stewart, fabulous comment, very thorough, very informative. I've read all that stuff, but it's uh, it's pretty hard to find these days. It's going to get a lot harder to find soon because of what's going on. Yeah, I think it's an end run. They're going to turn Ukraine into Poland. That way, they'll have NATO on Russia's border. Well, Russia will know how to answer that. Poland and Ukraine, they deserve each other. Western Ukraine. Eastern Ukraine's pretty cool. But they're Russians. They haven't uh, redone everything here like they did in Sevastopol. The sidewalk's pretty, uh, pretty wavy, kind of sunken. not neglected it's just old the grounds probably a little more stable here I'm putting some roofs on these nice shady shady buildings here I noticed most of the roofs are original anyway enough with the numbers already I don't know how this is going to turn out, the light. I can't see what I'm filming. <clears throat> anyway, what's going on besides that? My mind is complete blank. <laughs> Dead airspace. It's a nice scenery. Enjoy. Got a lot of things to talk about. I just don't know where to start. <clears throat> Let's all just dwell on the same subjects or some more. Keep beating that dead horse. It's not dead. That horse is getting up and it's going to run. It's going to be your news for what they let you see of it in the future. They'll consider it a really great solution. All this talk about state sovereignty and national integrity. The integrity of the borders of Ukraine. Like for Crimea, for instance, for crying out loud. 
Cry me a river. Cry me a river. They were screaming about territorial integrity. And saying Russia annexed Crimea. That's why it made the title Russia annexed or Poland annexed the rest of Ukraine. What was left. But where's the uh, crying about uh, territorial integrity there? Well, you know they're hypocrites. There was no crying about his territorial integrity uh, when they chopped up Yugoslavia and gave uh, a bunch of people that didn't even seem to belong there their own country. <laughs> I forget what they make out of Yugoslavia. How many countries? Kosovo. And aren't those people Albanians that moved there? Yeah, that's okay though. Crimea, historically Russian. Matter of fact, Sevastopol, I said this before, you couldn't even go there until uh, after 1997 without special permission, even if you're a Ukrainian, because it's a Russian military city. So how does that Ukraine? Let's, let's make an analogy. <laughs> Say the U.S. and Canada and Mexico form uh, the American Union. And it lasts for 70 years. And about halfway through it, we have a Mexican president of the Union. And he decides It'd be real cool to give Texas to Mexico. I mean, for administrative purposes. It's not the Spanish speakers there, you know. Just uh, give it to Mexico. It's got a nice border there and everything. Nobody cares. He doesn't have the legal authority to do so. But he gives Texas to Mexico. Then when it breaks up, Mexico says, My precious! and hangs on to it, everything they got. Then they start trying to eradicate all the Anglos that live there. They don't belong there. This is Mexico, by God. That's exactly what they did with Donbass. They tried to do it with Crimea. History speaks a lot louder than uh, geopolitical uh, shenanigans and uh, political convenience. History comes back on you comes back on you in the Middle East. This may trigger something. Ukraine's going back to the original borders. It's going to be a real small state like it was before the Tsars gave them all that land. <laughs> and then Lenin gave them all that land. The Donbass. And Khrushchev gave them all that land. The Crimea. And Stalin gave them all that land. Poland and Hungary. And Romania, I think. I put things back to rights. Ukrainians have no claim. That's why they act so obsessive about territorial integrity. Well, they, they pounded on them with that in the news and in the media for years and years, just like they pound on you with COVID. Oh, Omicro. And now monkeypox. And they pound on it, pound on it, pound on it, and really, really stupid people run around schlepping around in masks with fear in their eyes and screaming for everybody to get vaccinated and stay away from them. Well, over there, real stupid people went schlepping around and became Nazis. It's a mad, 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 mad world. This is a nice park. There's some benches there, but they're out in the sunshine. Uncle Billy needs a little shade. Oh, it's a memorial. Let's see who this is to. I've made a lot of analogies about this before. I wrote one. <laughs> I had written one back when it first happened. You know, about eight years ago. The referendum. 
people were squawking about it. It says, what if uh, I gave the same scenario and only instead of Texas and Mexico, I made it uh, Canada and uh, Alaska. It's more complicated, but more accurate. Pigeons made him look like he's got a dandruff problem. Tatas. Anyway. Yeah, see, the Canadians claim Alaska. It is, after all, attached to them. You know, like Crimea is attached to Ukraine, physically. Does that make it Canadian? No. People were making that argument back then about Crimea. And say, uh... The Quebecois took over all of Canada and uh, tried to make everybody speak French and eat snails and stop taking baths. And then they tried that on the Alaskans. Yeah, same thing. Would the Alaskans resist? It's mercy, mercy. Maybe they would. I think Alaskans are pretty tough. They probably would. Then they'd be pro-American separatist. Well, you get the idea. It's easy to make analogies. A lot more people don't do it. It's fun, too. I had fun. <clears throat> so how's all this going to play out? The new Poland... They're already having trouble with their refugees. All over Europe they are. Because the ones that went to Europe are the Western Ukrainians. They're special people, they really are. They'll tell you, just ask them. They're running around splashing blue and yellow paint all over everything and having protests and hunting down people that speak Russian and beating them up and making asses of themselves in front of the embassy. They're just, they're just not civilized. They've had too much uh, self-esteem therapy for the last uh, several years. Uh, compliments of Uncle Sam. Well, it goes back beyond that. Western powers have always been trying to use them to create a monster to attack Russia with. I guess they did a pretty good job. But, like any monster, it's a fiction, it's weak. It started with the Catholic Church a long time ago. Then it went to the German Empire, then it went to the Nazis, and then it went to the U.S. And now it's uh, going into another phase. Come unwound. They screwed around and found out. You can sculpt a society into all kinds of strange forms with enough lies and enough miseducation the right kind of lies that tickle the ego you're the real European Slavs matter of fact as a matter of fact European culture started with Ukrainians Jesus was a Ukrainian they're actually saying stuff like that in the schools in Ukraine That's why it's important to uh, confront liars, even if nobody listens to you. You got to put it out there, the truth. I got some liars to confront. You know, in the near future, I'm going to have to do it. Uncle Bildy tries to be merciful and give people time to save face and repent. But uh, yeah, some things just need to be addressed. If you don't address them. Oh, you yeah. look what you get. <laughs> but if you do address them, you're the bad guy. Oh well. Never bothered me any. Shouldn't bother you. <sighs> this is such a nice place. Got some big trees. It just goes on and on and on.
a nice shady day. They don't make parks like this in uh, small to mid-sized American cities, do they? I haven't seen very many. Looks like this one's been redone fairly recently. Yeah, the Russians would have done that. Ukraine never redid anything except around their own little mansions and stuff. They stole all the money. Russia rebuilt these parks. How do you steal a park? They rebuilt the parks. And they're open free to everybody. You know, the Soviets did stuff like that. You can brag on the Soviets all you want. You know, like, uh, you got a whole industry of that in the Conservatives American uh, Theater. With Charlie Kirk and, and, and Ben Shapiro. All they do is blame socialism for everything. They don't even know what socialism is. You tell me the difference between socialism and capitalism now. Really, tell me. Who, who made you wear masks? Was it the communists? There's a lot of people who say it was. Freaking morons. It's all private corporations that did all this. There's no bottom to it. There's no bottom to what they want to do to you. Klaus Schwab's been telling you all about it. Writes books and gives speeches. You can hear about it. Well, that's a crazy conspiracy theory. And then when it happens, Oh, the damn Chinese, Chinese communist and old Putin did that to us. It's almost like you, these freaking people deserve it. <laughs> they really do. I'm so tired of trying to show them something. Holy crap. Uh, I wonder if that's City Hall. I think that's the Kirch uh, emblem. I don't know if you can see it. The sun's kind of in the way. It's a griffin with a key under it. It's a prancing griffin. <laughs> like on a Vauxhall. Oh, for you Americans, the Vauxhall is a really, really crappy English car. And then there's Peugeot, which has a similar emblem, but it's facing around, uh, the other way around, and it's not a griffin. A Peugeot is a prancing lion with wings. A lion with stumpy little wings. Not a griffin. That's a griffin. It's all in the beak. Lions don't have beaks. Okay, I'm just filling time now. Oh, that's I like the lime green buildings. That's pretty cool. And the roundy stuff. Got the fountain all packed up for winter, I guess. I guess tourist season isn't really going yet. Oh, I hate to see the buses when it does get going. Why? They're pretty full now. Today wasn't bad. It's Sunday, the Lord's Day. I ought to go to church, but uh, I don't know which one to go to or what the protocol would be. I like going. But I gotta acclimate myself to the place. Pick one. <laughs> I saw one not too far from here. I thought, well, maybe I'll go here tomorrow. And I got to looking at it. It wasn't a church, it's a museum. I think it's one of the churches that they'd made into a museum during the Soviet days. I thought they undid all that. It's not really a proper Orthodox church though, so maybe it just looks churchy. It's not shaped like a cross, it doesn't have a dome in the middle. There's a sea right over there, there's a big old ship there docked. What happens to people, I don't know if you can see it or not back in there, what happens to people, what happens to nations and such when they lie, crazy, slanderous lies against people that are trying to do the right thing constantly, incessantly, more and more increasing hysteria. You think that uh, that'll fly? Just people don't believe in spiritual principles. They think they can just lie and slander 
and they'll get their way. They'll change reality. There's a bunch of uh, the smart set that actually believes that. They think that we create our own reality. Actually, that's uh, kind of a U.S. military doctrine as well. The truth and the morals and the right thing to do has nothing to do with your situational uh, protocol. You spend a certain amount of time gathering information, a certain amount of time, there's a limit to analyze it, and then you have to act. And the truth, from what I've seen, uh, according to them, is the, is the narrative that fuels progress. These people are so doomed. <laughs> You're messing with the natural laws, <laughs> like gravity. Like numbers, one and one equals two. Doesn't matter how many people you convince otherwise. Doesn't matter how many experts you get to go along with it. If you try to say it equals something else, your whole entire logic system gets screwed up and everything you do is wrong. That's the position the West finds itself in. How long can it last? I'm waiting. I'm amazed it's gone this far. It seems like the further it goes, the worse the collapse is going to be. It's coming. <sighs> Walk down this way. Oh, that's not a crosswalk. Eh, I'll go this way. Like I said, they're going to distract now. The Polish thing's going to happen, but I think it's all going to be about monkeypox. Unless there's enough resistance and that doesn't fly, then what? Who knows? It's hard to guess what they're going to come up with. A lot of cross here, but there's no crosswalk. I haven't seen any more cops here than I do in Seven Sobel. You don't need that many. They don't have to be out harassing people. People police themselves pretty good, unless they've got too much diversity. And they got agents provocateur who are trained in the universities to despise their own culture and go out and stage provocations. a lot nicer here. Ooh, I wonder who that is. Could that be Cerulus and Methodus? I have to go see. I can't see it from here. I need to get me some transport here. flat around here really it rolls a little rolling hills and nothing real steep I'd actually be open to a bicycle especially if I can put a little motor on it scooters are nice but uh, they seem pretty tight with things around here it's not like Sevastopol Sevastopol, I see people going by all day on motorcycles and scooters. They don't wear helmets. Most of the scooters, they don't even put plates on them. They're supposed to, but they don't. And nobody does anything. Nobody leaves them alone. Not like they're bothering anybody. Here, everybody I've seen, even on little wee tiny scooters, is wearing a full face helmet. So I figure the enforcement here must be bigger. Plus, it's a cultural thing. People just do it voluntarily. It's a lot of compliance on the helmet thing here. Seven Stolbert's probably an exception. 
I didn't see a whole lot of helmet use in Moscow either, especially on the little scooters and stuff. It's nice when people can push back. It's nice when you don't have cops that have this mentality that, you know, we have to get 100% compliance. And the chief tells his boys, you know, I want to see you be productive. You better get some tickets out there. You better arrest some people. That's uh, a big difference between the U.S. Uh, and the Russia as far as law enforcement goes. <laughs> Which one do you think would be described most aptly as a dictatorship? As tyrannical. Mark Dugan did a good piece about those uh, cops that were standing around their thumbs up their asses while the guy was uh, walking around outside the school firing shots. The Border Patrol guy had to come running up and take care of business. Oh yeah, it is. Cyrilus and Methodist. The creators of the Cyrillic alphabet. Anyway, that's the pose I've always seen them in. Uh, I'm reading. Maybe not. Oh, the top is an old Slavonic. I can't read that different alphabet the original oh no that is somebody else that's just not who I thought it was I'm not afraid of being wrong, but I don't know, so I'm not going to comment. <laughs> I'll look it up later. I'll try to find a place to sit down. Okay, what was I saying? It'll be interesting to see what happens, how things shake out. I think there's going to be a, a, a large number of people that just, no matter how absurd it is, oh crap, people in there marking their territory with their freaking noise. It's coming out of a car. Oh, that's a dry dock. I thought it was a ship from the other side. I can only see the top of it. Yeah, there's going to be a whole bunch of people. Whatever they say, whatever they point to, they're going to go along with it. Don't know what to think of those people. NPCs is a real good title for them is what they are. They were made that way on purpose by mass media. Whatever is that kind of that level of NPCs before mass media, maybe they just didn't have as big of an effect. I I, I told about my experience with uh, you know the, the stupidity thermostat when you go to meetings and you have really great speakers that are really dynamic and got a lot of information to share and they're good at what they do all the stupid people just keep their mouth shut they just sit there with their hands in their lap and don't say nothing but then when you have a moron get up there and just babble nonsense then you got a million dumb questions and all the stupid people want to participate and make themselves heard and even get into fights over stuff it's amazing same group of people I don't remember which video it was in, but it was KBR used to make us go to all these seminars and uh, one speaker right after another for hours all day long. Got to see that big time, on and off, it was like a switch. Okay, you've got, you've got a stupid speaker coming up here. <laughs> Activate the stupid switch. And I'd say a good, at least 50% of the crowd just turned into a freaking obnoxious freaking morons with something to say advently but when you had a good speaker good information elegantly presented 
they'd, they'd mind their manners. So there's something about how to steer a society in there, don't you think? Stupid mobs are uh, a tool, a real handy tool to oppress people with and to steer a population into something against its own interest. I keep walking toward the traffic noise, that's not good. They got me fenced off down here though, so I can't go down the beach anymore. This is probably long enough. Oh wait, looks like I can go this way. It's a trail. It's probably unauthorized. Maybe private. <laughs> I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> and get over here on the sidewalk. If the battery holds out, I'll just keep going, I guess. I'll bring this in a little bit till I get over there. Try to show some scenery. But, uh, I think the lighting's not very good. Oh yeah, this is an actual beach. Well, that's another thing property belonged first and foremost in the Soviet Union excuse me to the people and it really did play out that way to a very big uh, extent you've been fed a lot of horrible propaganda about the Soviet Union I'm not saying it was a paradise it's definitely flawed there's a lot of corruption and in the early days it was pretty brutal especially in Trotsky had a say hand in things But I know a lot of people spoke about it, oldsters. I see evidence of how things were. Wasn't as bad as Americans imagine. One thing is I noticed poor people can actually have a house with a beautiful view and maybe even on the beach. You don't see that in the U.S. anywhere. Oh, a little construction going on back here. That's what it is. Oh, 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 a salvage operation. Fantastic. A couple little tubs laying out here. They're cutting this and the close one up for scrap. There's another rusty one way back in the distance there. A little salvage operation. She's sunk. They're pumping her out and cutting out the metal, pulling it out, hauling it off for scrap. Interesting. I could probably get a job doing shit like that around here. It's not going to be near as much as I'd make in the States, but that's going to be moot pretty soon. It's already getting there.